Hi friends! We have another story today. I'm going to read you a book called Leaf Trouble by Jonathan Emmett. And the pictures are done by Carolyn Jane Church. And we've got this Leaf Trouble book. And in the background you might even be able to hear some sounds of fall. Maybe some leaves rustling. The wind chime. I think I can even hear Luke playing basketball outside. So let's begin. Leaf Trouble. A fresh breeze blew across the woodland, tickling the tall grass and trembling the trees. Summer had left and autumn had arrived. Pip Squirrel stuck his head out of the nest and sniffed the air. Something's changed, he decided, and he scampered off to find out what it was. Pip's nest was in an old oak tree. Pip loved the old tree, and he knew every bit of it, from twig to trunk. But something was happening to the tree. It was happening so slowly that Pip hadn't noticed until now. He skidded to a stop and stared at the leaves beside him. What's happening to the leaves? He was so surprised that he let go of the trunk. Whoa! squealed Pip as he tumbled down through the branches and landed oof, on the woodland floor. Do you see him? He fell down. There he is. Fell down. Pip lay there for a moment and staring up at the leaves, they've changed color, he gasped, and he was right. The last time Pip had looked closely at the leaves, they had all been green. But now there were lots of colors, yellow and orange, and even red. You see the leaves on Pip's tree? As Pip watched, one of the leaves dropped off and drifted down toward the ground. He jumped up and ran after it and caught it in his paws. But even as he reached for it, another leaf began to fall, and Pip ran after the second leaf and just managed to catch it before it touched the woodland floor. Not again, gasped Pip, as a third leaf began to fall. Pip was still racing around trying to catch falling leaves when his sister Blossom scurried up. Good, panted Pip. You're just in time. Just in time for what? asked Blossom. To help save the tree, puffed Pip. It's falling to pieces. But that's been happening for days, said Blossom, pointing to the leaf-covered ground. Then we've got to stop it now, insisted Pip. Do you think his sister's going to help? Pip and Blossom collected all the fallen leaves into a big pile. Now what, asked Blossom? We put them back, said Pip. So Blossom carried the leaves up onto the tree, where Pip tried to stick them back onto the branches. But it didn't work very well. Then all of a sudden there was a huge gust of wind, and hundreds of leaves began to fall. Pip and Blossom were scampering around frantically trying to gather them when Mom Squirrel arrived. What are you two up to, she asked. When Mom found out what Pip and Blossom had been doing, she couldn't help smiling. But Pip, she said, the tree has to lose its leaves. And she explained that taking care of the leaves was hard work for the tree and that after keeping them all summer, it needed to rest a while. But I love this tree, said Pip sadly. It's our home, and I want it back the way it was. Change is hard, isn't it? It will be, said Mom, when spring comes. The leaves will all come back again. They've only gone away for a little while. Like when the sun sets and comes back, said asked Pip. Like when the sun sets, agreed Mom. Except the leaves will take just a little longer to come back. Pip, Blossom, and Mom played beneath the old oak tree until sunset. Before they left, they collected some leaves to take back to their nest. That looks like fun, doesn't it? They're such beautiful colors, said Pip, smiling, and now I understand why. When he held up a paw full of leaves to show Blossom and Mom, they're the colors of the sunset, said Pip. And that is the end of our story. It was a very nice story explaining why the leaves fall. Did you know why the leaves fell down? Because the tree needs to rest and get ready for next year. 
Until next time, have a good day.